Welcome to the Fox Learn. Represents a data bindable, customized view of a data table for sorting, filtering, searching, editing, and navigation. The data view does not store data, but instead represents a connected view of its corresponding data table. Changes to the data view's data will affect the data table. Changes to the data table's data will affect all data views associated with it. A data view can be customized to present a subset of data from the data table. This capability lets you have two controls bound to the same data table, but that show different versions of the data. For example, one control might be bound to a data view that shows all the rows in the table, and a second might be configured to display only the rows that have been deleted from the data table. The data table also has a default view property. This returns the default data view for the table. For example, if you want to create a custom view on the table, set the row filter on the data view returned by the default view. If you do not explicitly specify sort criteria for data view, the data row view objects in data view are sorted based on the index of data views corresponding data row in the data table. Rows data row collection. For example, Before we can use data view, we must have a complete table. Data table. Where you populate your data, from the user or database and in-memory representation. Data view. Accessed with the default view property on data table. Data views allow you to filter and sort data, not store it. Default view. Access this property on your data table instance. This is an instance of data view.
default view is a property of type data view. This means it has a sort property. We assign the sort property to a string that matches one of the column names, wait. Sort. This is a string property on every data view. Assign this to a string containing the name of a column. We first use data view to sort one of four columns on a data table. In your program, the data table may be generated from user input or a database, but here we programmatically create it. Count. This is an instance property on all data view instances. You can use this in a for loop on the data view. You can also filter your data view, which allows you to exclude rows. This means you can view your data table with certain rows matching a condition omitted. The two properties we use here are row filter, and row state filter. We saw a complete example of using data view to sort rows in a data table. This is powerful. It allows you to sort your data before using it in your program, and before inserting it into your SQL database. Thank you for watching this video.